Have you watched Interstellar? Of course, I many times. Right? Oh, yeah. Enjoyed it? Of course, yes. Accurate depiction of space according to you? Not exactly. It is a little bit of drama there. It is needed for movie. It's added. Hmm. Yeah. But they they try to be reasonable to the physics. Physics is not violated, of course. in terms of how they described the black hole yeah, okay. how they showed it yes a black holes a conversation that happened at isro not only conversation we have sent a satellite to study black holes it's our uh, exposat okay x-ray polarimeter satellite is a specific satellite to look at black holes and how black holes accrete or rather pull the material out of another star and study using x-ray Uh, that is emitted through the process through its polarization so we are studying black holes yes. and we found new learnings of course we have seen uh, there are many one already cataloged black holes are cataloged and this cat- can be looked at by using it and study their nature and behavior okay yeah we have another satellite called astrosat which also looked at uh, similar uh, bodies like uh, neutron stars uh, nebula like that in your whole career what's the weirdest thing you have learned about outer space Oh no, there are so many things. If I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an answer, but I'll tell you. See, we all know that uh, universe is expanding. Mm. Is it not? You have heard about it. So, if you send a light beam out there, it must be traveling forever. Mm. So, it, it's also going away along with the universe, which is expanding. So, it will not. The light cannot be stopped. So, if it is not stopped, the light will continue to travel. Is it not? So. what we are talking to each other there is a light coming out of our face if it has any way to escape through this a small window in this room and go into space our image will be going into the space yes yes it will travel forever and if someone far away at say 5 billion years later capture the light in his eyes they will be able to see us it's a fact parallelly while sitting here on earth if we develop a technology we'll be able to see something from 5 billion years in the Now past my story is slightly different here it's slight this is the point here even after we are dead and gone the light that came out of us will be still traveling in the universe and anybody looks at that light will be able to see us living talking to each other and if you just imagine that you no know, it feels like a great dream for me mm. and it is not just a dream it's a reality that's why when the james webb telescope launched recently to look at the origin of the universe was able to look at deeper into the universe and see up to 12 billion light years back what was the nature of the universe it was able to see and take images think about taking a photograph of something which existed 12 billion years back today isn't it surprising So when I think about it I really many a times I become speechless and think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you become more spiritual over the course of your journey? I was always been I I can only say when I think about it I become more spiritual yes. Okay. You realize how small we are. Of course we are very very small. Right? Uh, it has already been told by many people. This is a question I've asked a lot of monks and I think you're nothing less than a monk in some ways. <laughs> What is the purpose of outer space? Why did God even create such a vast outer space? He did not create for any purpose. We are only assigning purpose to it. He is there because he is there. In in my eyes, I felt like God created outer space to show His own size. That I created this ever expanding thing, which is infinitely large. There is something different, you know, in terms of uh, statements, which are possibly not my origin, my own. original thinking it may not be i can tell you that the omnipotent god that you are referring to is the universe itself there yes. is nothing nothing else okay and uh, the universe is there like this because he wants to feel it he or she wants to feel it so all of us are here for the experientially knowing the universe in different facets of it that's all the answer we human beings are here because the 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 universal power wants to experientially know itself itself what is it being me mm that's it have any of our satellites caught any uh, signals from outer space which seem to have come from an established civilization none of us none of our satellites has an ability to even to pick them satellites generally don't have that ability generally such things are done by ground based measurements like radio telescopes or uh, such uh, 
scanners, frequency scanners, which are the ability to look for such faint signals. Have we received we any? We do not have the, such facility in ISRO. Okay. There are observatories of that nature, which looks at radio uh, measurement of the universe. For example, in the Pune, there is a GMR, uh, the, and the UTI has a telescope of that nature, and globe, world over there are such telescopes, which look at radio telescopes, which looks at such phenomena. or picking faint signals from other universes any idea of any faint signals have we have read enough of that in many uh, articles books etc about it but i do not have first hand information or knowledge about it does it fascinate you at all of course it is fascinating for example i was reading a book in, in that direction about one of the observatory in chile where they have been continuously observing uh, listening about some of these noises which has a pattern to see that the signals are of this nature are coming okay so there is some civilization yes. out there sending us signals could be it could be a civilization it could be a, a, a electromagnetic noise coming out of celestial system itself for example uh, supernovas or black holes they also em- you know emit various types of um, uh, electromagnetic radiation it could be that for example you know a spinning black hole will be emitting uh, certain amount of radiation at a fixed pattern mm. because their speed of rotation is constant so it has a directionality it has it is a very high power uh, electromagnetic beams it may be ejecting so possibly that that's what we are picking okay. or they may be resonating each other and picking so we may get confused by physical activity to a civilization we can't okay. tell give okay, me <laughs> hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it